favor, tell anybody your name, who you are, and what do you do so that I can go and tell everybody why you're here. Hi everyone, my name is Brittany Monique, and I'm an upcoming actress. No, 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 no. Oh, no. You are. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I need to stop saying that. Yeah, please I stop. need to stop saying that. <laughs> well, I was with you because a lot of times, like for me, I was in York. I was in Finland, Poland, uh, Amsterdam, and somewhere else. I wanted to come back to Baltimore. I'm like, man, and everybody was like, you crazy. I'm like, no, but there's something about that Baltimore DNA. You know what I'm saying? Home, but I mean, people don't understand it. So, when you wanted to go to LA for your career choice, is there something in Baltimore? that's in you that keeps you like with that hunger? Is that something in Baltimore or is that something in your DNA? Like what is it that gives you that hunger? It could be your son, I don't know, but what, what's inside of you? It's wanting to get out to experience better. Like it's, it's so much more to life than here. And I, I don't want to be that person that leave Baltimore and forget about Baltimore. To me, I want to, when I get successful in my career, I want to get back. Yeah, so I want people to accept me back. And say, and how long have you been doing that? Go for it. My name is Mike Bradley. Um, everybody calls me Brad. I'm a tattoo artist for the year. I'm a little bit of everything. But, and I've been tattooing for nine years and creating, so that's what I was. So, I, I, I called you the other day, and I called you the other day, and I, I was, I had a, a vision about, um, some individuals who I thought was not only inspirational, but positive and motivation for me in my life because people think I got it all figured out. You know, and they, they look at my relationship, they look at who I know, what I've done, and they think that's it. But they don't know it's guys like you who, and I know I never told you before, I'm telling you now, whenever I'm about to make a dumb decision, whenever I make a, you know, listen, whenever I make a decision in life, I always think about with rags. Mm -hmm. I always say, with well, rags, take twenty thousand dollars and, and go to the casino. With well, rags, do that. You know what I'm saying? With well, rags, argue with this guy at the gas station, get into a fist to come. With well, rags, do that. So I work with a lot of kids um, doing PRP work, so I, I talk with them all the time. And then on most of my tattoo sessions, I call them for therapy sessions because we had the type of conversations in the shop. I do the tattoo. Um, I just lead by example. What makes Rags happy? What makes Rags happy? Um, being alive, you know, being a good person, being able to affect my friends, you know, make sure my friends and my family are good, those things are good. What, what, did, what did you do when you heard the guy say that Rags tattoo was garbage? <laughs> I never heard of that. <laughs> I never heard of that. <laughs> so, I'm gonna ask you two more questions. I'm gonna let you guys know how they man. But um, for one, what did you see your career as an artist in two years? Because I don't want to put time on it, but I'm gonna say two years because some things that I know it's gonna change in two years that you were affected by good, bad, or different. So what do you see yourself in two years? Um, definitely at a different level uh, as far as our clothing brand and as an artist, like being world renowned. I've done art vibes a few times. Uh, got some things in the pipeline that. The really change become like a household thing. So, what would you do? What would you tell someone that wants to be a tattoo artist or artist in general? That's the boss world. They get so much negativity, no support, no recognition, no platform, no resource. What would you tell them? I tell them two things: to believe in yourself, and comparison is the thief of joy. You can't compare yourself to anybody else. You know what I mean? So. Your, your success is what we get success. Your time will come. Just be put in the work, put it in the talent, speak for yourself. And just don't compare, you know, what somebody else did, what somebody next to you did. It'll rob you of your joy. Like, enjoy your life, enjoy what you're doing in your craft. Just believe in yourself. You believe in yourself or everybody else. You don't have no choice in the university out there. All right, well, I know you gotta go, but I, I wanna tell you, um, I, I tell my kids, right, you know, in this generation, everybody wants to have a million followers on Instagram. They want to have a million cars, chains, and they forfeit being a good person. I thought that I was done in my lifetime gaining friends. I mean, like, I mean, certain people that 
you gain friendship by way of just your walk of life. You at work, that's your friend. Right. And get it. But then you're not going to wake up 4 o'clock in the morning to your co-worker and go break up a fight with him and his wife. Right. Because that's just somebody you work with. Um, when I met you a few years ago, you knew more about me than I knew about you, but you was a good person. And I told Savage that I'm going to tell you the same thing. Like, you know, I know I'm probably I'm not going to have any more kids. Um, but if I was blessed to have any more children, specifically a son, I want my son to be like you. I think um, that you're a good person. I think you're humble. I think you you exemplify every character of a real man, not just a male. I think you're a leader. I think and pray that your story beyond art can be told in a big enough platform where people can invest in knowing what it's like to be raised instead of what it's like to be someone who they never be like. So I want to congratulate you, man, on being who you are, achieving what you did thus far. I think and know for a fact that your career, your career has just started. I know it, it, it's tough, because we're in Baltimore, and I, I believe in my heart that if you was in LA, if you was in New York, anywhere else, you've been gone. Because it's a different nucleus, a different paradigm of support that we don't have in Baltimore. Right. And hopefully we can start changing that, you know, you know, with young talent investments, you know, not mean investment, I look at kids as investment. You know. But I, I just want to tell you, man, I know this you. Like a lot of people, you know, they probably wanted me to have every here. I had, you know, I wanted to treat people that, you know what, that, that motivate me to keep going. Because sometimes it gets tough. Like right now in my life, I mean, this is the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. I mean, I don't need no money. I'm healthy. I can, I think I can still shoot. Stay. I don't think I can be stopped. You know. Right. Um, but I, but I, I'm learning to deal with my purpose and not my passion. Mm -hmm. And my passion is always get money, get money. You know. And then like yo, after a while, my son, I don't. I miss the sea fall. You can't put it back in the right. 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 And I know, I know how family will take you to spend time with your friends. So for me, it's always done it for good people. And I try to follow one of them. Sometimes you get it wrong. You know. Hopefully. We all get it right, whereas though we can collectively cohesively grow and support each other no matter what the outcome looks like. That's what we're supposed to do. Most black folk don't realize what the other black folk went through. And right now what you see as a result of this crisis is hate and hurt, people hurting people. You know? And I, I hope that we can change that narrative by using guys like you to tell a story. So I just want to thank you, man, for what I called you. You know, it's Friday. You could have been in the happy hour. You know, you made this half available for me, man, this sauna. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, and, and the guy, y'all always there for me when I call y'all. Y'all always the first person to support me about me at the act. And I tell people all the time, you know, like, in, in my life, I won already. You know what I'm saying? Because what I, what I wanted to achieve, I did that. I, it's not about accolades, not about awards or certificates at this point. But it's just about being a good person. Learn how to master being a good person. You know? and I think your heart speaks value for who you are. Because if someone can tell you a story for you and it match, what you would say, right? right then that means you're doing yeah. something right, man. So I'm gonna thank you for coming, man. Um, all those guys who know you before the way you is now, I'm gonna continue to support you in my individual official capacity. Try to get art into shoe cities, man. You know, and hopefully you continue to be a winner, man. Because to me, that's what you are, man. So thank you. Man. Man. I've been doing this for like five and a half years, and that's what it is. So, for the now, being from Baltimore, knowing that rap artists has not been celebrated on the level that they need to be celebrated on, because for some reason we've been overlooked. What, what's, the, what's the determining factor in your life to say, you know what, I'm going to beat the odds. I know I can do this. I know that. No one, I'm gonna say, can mess with me because that's how I feel. But you, you know, you got what it takes to make it. But regardless of the, the temperament in Baltimore and the lack of support we get, what keeps you going and makes you invest in yourself the way you do? For me, it's more so like believing in myself and just doing what I gotta do for me and remembering what I'm doing it for. Right, so, so do you love or like rap? I love music. Love no, music, good. Yeah. So now, I, I, I follow you in your platform and you one of those females who always keep other females conscious of um, 
Okay, good. So-